Jeff Pasquino from thefootballguys.com. He's answering your week six fantasy football questions. We got a ton of them, Jeff. Let's get right into uh, this week. Let's start at the quarterback position. And uh, I'm going to throw a couple interesting names your name. How about uh, Brian Hoyer uh, against the Jaguars this week? I think he's a good option this week. He's uh He's really proven to be the, the guy, and he could be the guy going forward with uh, Jay Cutler being the odd man out. And they've got some, they have some interesting wide receivers, but they're all catching the ball. So is Howard. So is their tight end. So he's a good viable option this week. All right. I got uh, Mariota with four touchdowns last week. A lot of questions about him. He's playing the Browns. You going with Mariota again? That's a little bit riskier proposition, just but just because they can run the ball on, on the Browns. But I think that uh, Mariota can run himself, and I think he's a viable option. I think he's a lower-end quarterback one this week. All right. Uh, how about Dak Prescott going to the Packers this week? you like Dak on the road? That's a little tougher. Um, I think they're going to try and uh, establish Ezekiel Elliott, and especially if uh, Des Bryant. I don't think he's going to play, but if he does play, it's probably going to be more of a decoy, which really limits the passing game upside. All right. Uh, Jeff Pasquino, footballguys.com, answering your week six fantasy football questions. These are uh, some of the names that have been sent to us throughout the week. We throw them to Jeff, and then, of course, we'll ask Jeff some of your specific questions coming up here on the Sports Bash 97.3 ESPN. Uh, at the running back spot every week, we have a lot of injuries. Uh, what are you advising people who have Jamal Charles? I'm still in the wait-and-see mode. I want to see this week, now that they come off the bye, what they're going to do. I still think that uh, Spencer Ware is going to be b- uh, big into the mix, and I think they're going to timeshare it. That's what a lot of teams are doing to keep them both healthy. So I like him. He's more of a running back two than a running back one for me this week. Okay, how about Matt Jones against the Eagles? He gets the carries, but uh, do you like uh, the production he puts up against this Philly team? You hit it right on the, on the head there. He gets the carries, but he doesn't get the production. And I, and I really like... Um, the Eagles defense this year. They've looked very solid. And Matt Jones, he's the volume guy. And if you're looking for a volume guy or a bye week flex or a running back two this week, he's he's a good option, but not much higher. How about LeGarrette Blunt against the Bengals now that Brady's back? What's that do for Blunt? Uh, I think Blunt is still your fourth fourth quarter guy that kind of runs up the clock when they've got built up a lead. He's a solid option. I like him a lot, especially with Deion Lewis still sidelined because he's still in the IR. He could be back soon. But I'll give Blunt some upside again for one more week. Okay, let's go over to some wide receivers. Got a lot of questions for Jeff. If you have a question for Jeff, send it to our Dubell Lumber text board, 609-403-0973. We'll try to answer, uh, ask as many questions as we can. Wide receiver, my buddy last week told me, hey, you should pick up this guy Cameron Meredith. I didn't listen to him. Should I have? Yeah, well, he's another. He's a good option for one more week because they got to, they have some really good matchups against Jacksonville. I think he's going to see a lot of targets and a lot a lot of receptions this week. The schedule gets a little tougher after week six, so I would use Meredith for one more week. Uh, what about Jordan Matthews? Seems like uh, he keeps finding the end zone. Yeah, it's a it's a it's an interesting mix. It's kind of you know they spread the ball around a lot, so. It's. Um, I wouldn't rely on him each and every week, but I think he's a very solid wide receiver too. Washington struggles more against the run, though, so I'm looking for the Eagles to run the ball a lot more. All right, uh, keep your uh, Eagles running backs in mind there. All right, uh, wide receiver uh, Quincy Anua. He's been coming up because Decker is now gone. So is Anua a guy you got to play? I like him as a flex spot this week, especially with Arizona's uh, cover corners. Their outside guys are better than the slot man. So Anua should see some targets and some good catches there. But the, the Jets just added Safarian Jenkins, formerly of Tampa Bay, as tight end. So the targets may go down a little bit for their slot receiver. All right, let's get to the listener questions because we do have a ton of them this week. And uh, we want to get our listeners' questions answered for Jeff Pasquino from the Football Guys Dot com. Let's start off with a wide receiver question. Uh, Larry Fitzgerald or Michael Crabtree? Uh, I like them both, but I, th- I, I think that Carson Palmer's going to want to get him at stuck at it. He had been stuck in neutral. He want to get him going this week against the Jets, who have not looked well. I like Fitzgerald and John Brown to do well against the Jets on Monday night. Another wide receiver question. Uh, this is a uh, Hogan from New England or Philip Dorsett from the Colts. Uh, I think that Hogan has got more up. Well, they both have a lot of upside. It's just a matter of who's going to see more volume. I think Hogan is getting more and more in the mix. He had two long catches last week. Dorsett, uh, Andrew Luck likes the tight ends more. So I would lead towards Hogan. 
I like this question. It's from Stephen Galloway. He says, luck or Bortles? Uh, you wouldn't be asking that question in week one, but now you are. Uh, I think I still like luck as long as he still stands up. He's getting hit a lot in that, and his offensive line is not giving him a lot of time, but until he until he gets banged up a little more, I'm taking luck every week. How about James White or Matt Jones at running back? Uh, I, I, I would lean towards Jones just on the volume standpoint and the consistency consistent touches got a lot of matt jones questions uh here's one from uh, another listener wants to know tevin coleman matt jones or terrence west he needs one i actually think the west is a sneaky play this week the giants have given up 100 plus ru- 100 plus yards uh running for the last two weeks i think that baltimore is going to look to establish the run game that they abandoned in the second half especially since they just changed offensive coordinators all right uh trade question the trade deadlines are starting to come out so we get these questions now for you jeff uh, would you trade DeMarco Murray and Sadu for Jordy Nelson and Matt Jones? Matt Jones is all over the place this week. Yeah, I wouldn't be trading for Matt Jones. I always think uh, Murray is the number one guy there, Nelson is the two. I, I would stick with Murray because he's, he's such a big part of that offense. I love him this week as a top five running back. It's funny, I have Matt Jones in my league, too. Uh, he stinks. <laughs> Sports Match 97.3 ESPN. Uh, Jeff Pasquino is with us answering your fantasy football questions. Uh, this guy is Sean. He's listening in San Diego. He said he's up against his fiance this week. He needs your help. Bortles or Matt Ryan in a standard league? Uh, this could be the week that Matt Ryan comes back to earth a little bit because Seattle is the, the number one team against quarterbacks from a quick QB rating. Uh, I would actually go with Bortles against a bad Bears secondary. You must be happy San Diego won last night. All right, uh, how about Baldwin or Crowell as a flex? Mm. Uh, I would actually go with Crowell. Baldwin's got a really bad matchup, and I think that Seattle's going to emphasize Jimmy Graham over the middle this week. All right, uh, how about uh, running back Jeremy Hill or Cole Beasley as a flex? Beasley catches the ball a lot there. I think that uh, Beasley's going to see a lot of targets. I would stay away from Hill because I think he's still banged up, and I think Gio Bernard is more of a Gio kind of game with him catching passes out of the backfield. Jeff, what are you telling Gronk owners, man? That he has, he's been killing them. Well, he's finally looking healthy. Brady's back, and he had 100 yards last week, and he got tackled up to one. So it can't be three touchdowns at to the Bennett every week. Gronk, he, he's got upside. He's a buy. I would go get him. All right, uh, yeah, because Bennett keeps scoring all the touchdowns there. Uh, all right, uh, need a running back here. Uh, this one's for Joe. He says Ajahe, Ware, or Ivory. That's a bad uh, bad trio right there for you, pal. Ajahe, yeah. Spencer Ware, or Ivory? Need one. Uh, uh, Dolphins are bad. Ivory is a second day guy. I like Ware in the mix right there. Yeah, uh, Your Ware time is running out there, pal, and this could be the week uh, that he is – uh, out of gas. What about uh, Latavius Murray? He's out for week six. What are you doing with the wash, uh, the uh, Oakland backs? I'm pretty much avoiding the running backs there if I can. Um, I think that this can be a mixed bag. You got Oakland up against Kansas City. Again, they're coming off of a bye. They're a tough one. I don't have any uh, Oakland running back in my top 25 this week. Okay. Uh, we're talking with Jeff Pasquino from thefootballguys.com. Uh, last one. Uh, quarterback question. Uh, Kaepernick in the 49ers offense. He's with Chip. Is Kaepernick a fantasy play now? No. It's simply a word, no. It, it, they're going to get the ball to um, hide and try and get them. Maybe they looked curly. The, the offense is tight end driven from the passing game or read option, but I don't think Kaepernick is going to look good. Buffalo, the, um, the Sean McCoy is circling this game to run, a, run the ball down uh, the throat of Chip Kelly. I'm looking for 150 yards and two touchdowns from McCoy this week. Huge right. game. This week. Yeah, wow, big game. All right. Uh, and by the way, uh, keep in mind, Jordan Reed could be out. If Jordan Reed's out, who does that benefit? Uh, in why, may, Probably not Matt Jones, it doesn't sound like. <laughs> well, some people were thinking now it's Paul because he did well before when, when Jordan Reed was out before. But I'm actually thinking that uh, – uh, you got Crowder at the, the, the slot receiver. Right, He's right. the guy I would go get. All right, Jeff Pasquino, footballguys.com. For all of your Week 6 fantasy football, Jeff, who are a couple of guys uh, you recommend going out there and putting in your lineup? Well, at wide receiver, I like Michael Thomas. Uh, I think that uh, the Saints are going to look to score a lot against uh, Cam, who's going to be back this week, and the Carolina Panthers. I also like Randall Cobb, just for the idea that for the, for the Packers that um, we got both – both running backs for Green Bay are banged up, and Cobb sometimes gets some looks in the backfield. He, he's going to see a lot of touches this week. Uh, going back to the Saints, I like Kobe Flaner. And one, uh, one sleeper running back that's going to be very low on, very underappreciated this week, 
Bobby Rainey. Bobby Rainey for the Giants. He looks like the best guy under there. He's great in a PPR league. He had six catches last week. He had over 70 combined yards. As a sleeper pickup, if you're really desperate for a running back, pick him up, put him in, in as a flex play. Hope he hits the end zone. A lot of catches for Bobby Rainey. Uh, that would probably be better than that guy's questions with a Jahe Ware and Ivory. Those three guys yeah. st- stunk. All right, Jeff Pasquito, footballguys.com. Enjoy the week six games, Jeff. All right, enjoy the games. Good luck, everyone.